your doctor's appointment today, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I just don't want you to come. Is that all right? Of course. How was the doctor's? Yeah, great. Well, she just said nothing to worry about, and it was quite normal for people who have just had a major operation. That I just need lots of rest. It sounds like you'll be back to normal in no time. You, you're not waiting for that bus, are you? No, oh, I'll never get back for me delivery now. Come on, I'll give you a lift. What do you think? Oh, it's big. We've got an apple tree. You never have. I'll show you if you like. Wait until Kev sees this, an actual apple tree. You won't believe it. Oh, so sorry, Miss you called. My phone died. It's all right. It's fine. Time gave me a lift home. <laughs> Some house, that. I think you'd be really happy there. Oh, uh, gave Fizz a lift. A new place is nice. She seemed happy too, so... Wonderful. We're all happy. Nice to see her smile again, actually. She's so pretty when she smiles. Hey, you should have thought of that before you ran off with one of the cheeky girls. Can we get an apple tree when we move? Yes. Yes, if you want. I mean, what do you think I should do? Well, from what you tell me about this bloke, it's all about appearances, right? So that's where you've got to hit him. I just don't want anybody to have to go through what I went through. I was lucky with the next person, they might not get off that operating table alive. The editor of the Gazette called me. Apparently one of his reporters received a call from an alcoholic taxi driver making spurious claims about yours truly. They're not gonna run the story, of course. Without your job, you're nothing. And when I'm finished with you, there won't be a hospital in this world that'll take a punt on you. I need some dirt on him. I think if you've got any patients' names or nurses... I, uh, I made a few phone calls and uh, I wanted to give you this. When you and Aggie came forward, though, I knew I needed to do something. He can't keep getting away with the stuff he does. I'll contact the General Medical Council tomorrow. Get the ball rolling. Oh, I just want you to know that I think he's crazy. He'd have to be not to be interested in you. <laughs> a neurotic mess that can't write ten words without having to check a thesaurus. Why do you do that? Why do you, why do you judge yourself based on how good your schoolwork is? I don't know. Um, you changed his clothes. You're his stepmom. You don't have to hide that. Oh, what does that say? Mummy's boy. Ooh, trading standards would have a field day. How much do you think it's worth to split up a mother and child on the open market? You take this, and then we're done. Oh, can't you need a? Can't you meet me now? Come on, I need a little pick me up, mate. Sharpish. Now don't worry about Sally and Beth. They'll come round. Maybe we should postpone the naming ceremony. What? No, no. We should be allowed to celebrate like everybody else. Okay. And what do you want me to say? That Imran paid you to lie about me buying drugs. Otherwise, this little video, it goes two places. It goes to your boss and to the cops. You've got until four o'clock. We need to talk. No, we don't. Ever come here again, I will throw you down the stairs myself. Do what you ask, but you delete the video. Once you make the call. Elliot, how can I help? You've committed perjury. You're a lawyer. Do you know how bad that is? I did it to protect my son. Abbe. How are you feeling about Monday? What the meeting? No, the naming ceremony. Because this feels like a turning point for us. <laughs>